Welcome back. We're here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, August 2nd, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound the US dollar. And as you can see, we have been rallying all the way from the 300 moving average all the way above the 100 moving average. And on Friday, we basically gave most of those gains back that we won last basically on Thursday and on Friday. Rallied roughly 3% and we were down 0.26% uh, on, on Friday. So at this current stage, we're just at the 50 moving average. We hit the top of the Bollinger Band and are pulling back now. So the question is whether or not we basically bounce off the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is roughly at, uh, give or take, 13.82, or we basically fall below the middle of the Bollinger Band and continue this downtrend. It will highly depend on the US dollar, whether or not that appreciates or depreciates um, in the coming uh, few trading days. So if you look at the other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish, RSI is bearish, and CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is turning around here, becoming bearish. So it looks like we are rolling over here and will at least test the uh, middle of the bullish band uh, before going higher or going lower at this, at this point. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. We... Uh, have been falling most of last week and on friday we did rally a bit as we approached the same area as we basically bounced off uh, recently which is 109 350 uh, 59. so at this current stage we're just at the 100 moving average and at this point kind of looks like we're making lower lows and uh, if we drop below the 100, 150 moving average here, we could drop all the way down to the 200 moving average. We are really far away from this channel with that we were basically broke out uh, a few weeks ago. And at this point, probably rallies up towards the 20 exponential, those will be uh, those will be sold into as we are basically making lower lows here and break below the 150, then we could drop all the way down to the 200 down here at 107. We are at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. That's probably the reason why we basically bounced here. We're getting fairly overstretched. Uh, MACD is still bearish. Uh, RSI is bullish at this point. Stochastic is now CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is also bearish at this current stage. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. So this has rallied significantly up towards the 50 moving average and then just got absolutely hammered at the 50. So this is kind of saying. To me, at least, that people were waiting for this to rally up towards the 50, and then they started to sell. It got really overstretched here. We're basically at the top of the bullish band. So the question is whether or not we basically pull back towards the middle or pull back all the way down to the very bottom. So if we go all the way down to the very bottom, that's a drop of roughly 1% to the downside. And uh, considering that we are technically in a downtrend here, this could be basically a false rally. So... Um, at this point, we need to break above all of these moving average in order to go higher. And it didn't look like the 50 moving average is going to be breached anytime soon. MACD is still bullish. Stochastic and the RSI is bearish. CCI is bullish and the stochastic is bullish at this point as well. But really got rejected there. And uh, another at the candlestick here, that could basically be a sign that this will go lower. So... US and Aussie dollar, US dollar, and this got absolutely trashed on Friday. 20 exponential is basically the top of this market at this current stage. Resistant is definitely the, the 20. You can see it here, break down, here, break down, here, break down, and yet again here, break down. If we manage to take out these candlesticks here, which is at 90, uh, 70, 72, uh, then this could drop all the way down to 0 0.70. We were basically approached the middle of the bullish band and got really rejected there. There's quite a lot of room to the downside and technical indicators, all of them, MACD, RSI, CCI, and stochastic are all turning around. Momentum is definitely changing to the downside. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, this ran into major resistance at the 300 moving average. And since then, we, since then, we are basically falling all the way down to the 150 moving average. We're approaching the bottom of the bullish band, so we could see a bounce here right at the 50 moving average. Other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, 
bearish, the RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is also significantly bearish. Momentum is definitely to the downside, but the question is whether or not we have basically reached the bottom, and from now we basically go higher. So, hope you found this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.